In this video, we'll see how to use the switch in Spark AR Studio. So we open Spark. The switch element is very used to add animation and to add some interaction. I'll show you a few examples on how to use it. Four different examples, but you can also use it in more complex patches. So we open the patch editor. Let's import two elements. So let's try with the octahedron and with the cube. So we import our element in the scene. For the first example, I'll show you how to make it disappear when we tap the screen. So we'll try on the octahedron. So for this, we have the patch editor. We need a screen tap, then a switch. To make it disappear, we select the octahedron. We'll see on visible, you click the arrow to make the element in the patch editor. We link the switch to the visible. And we can see that if we try, so I tap the screen, it make it appears. So that's for the first example. In this second example, we have the octahedron and the cube. And I want that we see the octahedron and if we tap the screen, the octahedron disappear and we see the cube. So for this, we select octahedron, we click on visible, cube, visible. We link the switch to the octahedron. And between the switch and the cube, I put a nut. So it will do the opposite. If we tap the screen, we see that when the cube is visible, the octahedron is not visible. So that's for the second example. In the third example, we'll make particles visible when we open the mouse. So for this, we add the particles. So to use the mouse open, we click in the patch editor. We add mouse open and you'll see that it's waiting for a face. So to have the face, we need a face tracker in the scene. We drag and drop the face tracker in the patch editor and we'll see that in the last element, there is a face. So we link it. Then you see mouse open, you link it to a switch and the switch will use it in the visible. So if you open the mouse, it will appear. And if you open the mouse again, it will disappear. So in this last example, I want to start an animation when I open the mouse. So a rotation animation. So for this, we have the mouse open, we link to switch, then we link to the loop. So loop animation, I'll put five seconds. In progress, we add the transition to make a transition between the values. So zero from zero, zero from 360 and zero from zero. So it will make a 360 rotation on the Y axis. We select the octahedron, we take the rotation values and we link it. And as you can see, if you open the mouse, it will start an animation of rotation. The switch element is very used in more complex patches. If you have any question, just ask me in the comment. Thanks for watching. 